Here's integrated 3, it's problem 1-6. It says Angelica is working with two function machines, g of x and h of x. She wants to stack the two machines so that the output of the first machine becomes the input of the second. Her beginning input is 6. So letter A is in what order must she put the machines to get a final output of 5. So let's look at that. So remember it just said that she started out with the input of 6 and so these are the two functions. I just drew a picture of function machines um, and I want to put one of these in the top machine and one of these in the bottom machine and plug the numbers in and see if I can come out with a 5. So at first I'm just going to randomly you know pick one to put on the top. I'll just put g of x on the top. g of x is square root of x minus 5 and then so if I put g of x on the top I gotta put h of x on the bottom and now I'm gonna start uh, plugging I had to start with 6 so 6 minus 5 is 1 and the square root of 1 is 1 so from the top machine the outcome is a 1 and then that one's gonna go into the bottom machine so I plug the 1 into the bottom machine. So it's 1 squared minus 6. Well, 1 squared is 1, and 1 minus 6, that gives me negative 5. So I almost got the output I want, I got a, but I, it was a negative 5. So the only other thing to do is to just switch them, because we got to stack them. So we're going to, we already tried putting g of x on top, it didn't work, so just put h of x on top. And we're just going to verify and make sure that it works that way. Okay, so now I'm going to put my 6 into the top function. So 6 squared is 36 and I subtract 6. 36 minus 6, that would give me 30. And that's going to go into the second function machine. So I'm inputting 30 into here. We've got 30 minus 5, that gives me 25. And the square root of 25 is 5 and that's what I wanted. So let's see how we did that. That was So that was with h of x on top and um, g of x on the bottom. That's what they're asking us. So the answer to letter A is, um, you could write something like stack um, h of x on top and g of x on the bottom. So you have to you put your input into h of x first, and then um, g, then that output goes into g of x, and you get your final output. So that's the answer to the first question. The second question is: Is it possible to get a final output of negative five? Well, we already know that because remember the first time we tried, we um, put g of x on top and h of x on bottom, and remember it was a negative five. So we're just gonna, we're going to say yes. And if you want to. Well, we should probably write y. Um, and then we'll just say stack g of x on top. h of x on bottom. And that's it.